This is a story for Fig Folk and Bigletopi. That's Big Folk and we people too. It's a story that'll make your crush fleep and give you poo skimples. It's the story of Cinderella. Cinderella lived in a big hard house with her mean old mepstother and her two sisty uglers. And they made Cinderella do all the wordy dirt while they sat around cheating oclets and magging redesines. Well, one day, the pansom hints sent around a notice that he was going to bow a thresh draw and they were all invited. Well, the two sisty uglers went up to Cinderella and said, Ha ha, too bad you can't go. So Cinderella, with ears in her ties, ran into the kitchen and she started flopping the moor. And she was just about to check a sea of frickin' when all of a sudden there was a lightning flash of light. And who should appear but a foodiful berry? Cinderella said, well, who are you and what do you want? And the foodiful berry said, why, I'm your prairie fud gutter. And Cinderella said, well, can I go to the ball? And the foodiful berry said, okay. So she waved her magic wand and she transformed Cinderella into a bavishing Rudy. She had a long white gap and sound and a necklace of poopies and rolls. And on her foo were two tiny sass clippers. But the foodful berry said, you must remember to be mown by midnight. And Cinderella said, okay. And so she was off. Soon she cast to the king. That's came to the castle. And the first two people she ran into were the two sisty others. But she was so pretty, they didn't even cinderize Recognella. So they introduced her to the pants and hits who said, may I dab this chance? And Cinderella said, okay. And they danced and they danced. And he was just about to ask for Cinderella's mand and harridge, when all of a sudden the sock clarted to tight swell, and Cinderella banned from the roll. But as she did, one of the sass clippers flipped from her scent. The pants of hints picked it up and he said, now all I have to do is find out which woman this super flip it sits, and I'll know I've lolled and flown with. So the next day he went from house to house, and he can't turn that around. Finally he came to the sin where House Dorella lived, and he docked on the door, but who should answer the door but the two sisty uglers? They tried on the sass clipper, but guess what? Their bleat were too fake. Then it was Cinderella's turn, and guess what? The flipper pitted cynically, and they were married, and they happed livelily ever after. And there's a moral to the story. And the moral is this. Some of our subbles are troll, and some of our bubbles are trick. But if we tried to trap no hubbles, how could we recognize our resings? Okay, who wants to hear bleeping slooting?